Let's take you back to outer space. And you remember we talked about that little dot moving around out there that some say is a comet, but it's not just any comet. Our Brian Hackney shows us why astronomers around the world are so excited. This is Chabot Space and Science Center, and this is space expert Gerald McKeegan. I got interested in astronomy when I was a kid. And as a grown-up, he's got quite the telescope. This massive, century-old Chabot refractor, which has seen planets, galaxies, and the occasional comet. You remember your first comet? Oh gosh, in the 1990s we had uh, Hale Boppin and Hyakutake, but for us astronomers, there are a lot more comets out there that we can't see with our naked eye, but we can see with our telescopes. Just two weeks ago, one of those telescopes in Rio Hurtado, Chile, spotted one of the most extraordinary comets ever seen. Designated 3I Atlas, it's this tiny moving smudge against a forest of stars. And it came into the solar system at amazingly high speed of 135,000 miles per hour. Davide Farnocchia is with the Jet Propulsion Lab in Pasadena. This is really exceptional. You have to be an interstellar object to be going that fast at that distance from the sun. That's right. 3I Atlas is only the third object ever known to have come from another solar system light years away. We don't know exactly where it came from. The direction that it's approaching the, our solar system is from the constellation Sagittarius, which is in the direction of the center of our galaxy. This particular needle was picked out of the intergalactic haystack by NASA's Atlas system, meant to detect asteroids that might hit Earth. But as, as you scan the sky to find asteroids, you're going to trap or discover other things. At the moment, the comet is inside the orbit of Jupiter, headed for a close approach of the sun in October. So two questions. This is no threat to Earth. No, absolutely not. It doesn't come anywhere close to Earth. And as for seeing the ultra rare comet. Won't be able to see it with the naked eye, but it's actually pretty easy with a, with a moderate sized telescope. In the meantime, scientists have just a few months to answer some big questions. Where did it come from? What does it look like? Um, and especially what is its composition. So it's a rare opportunity and uh, as a scientific community we want to collect as many data as possible to, uh, to characterize this object and learn as much as we can. Now, earlier in the show we told you a Harvard scientist believed that comet could actually be an alien spacecraft headed toward Earth due to its unusual path, but most NASA scientists say it's just a comet that poses no threat to Earth.